Hey guys, welcome to the shop. I'm so glad you stopped by because today we're going to get to build some decorative floating shelves for our bathroom. Now what these are going to be made out of is a 2x6 board that was actually salvaged from an old barn that was getting demoed here in town. But what we're doing is we're going to first cut these boards to length and then we're going to move over to the bracket that we're going to be building to make it look like it's floating on the actual wall. So first let's cut these to length and then we'll get going with the rest of the project. Okay, so as you can see, we've got three different types of shelves that we cut, three different sizes. So we're gonna kind of stagger them and be all fancy like, but for the actual bracket that'll hold it to the wall, we're using some quarter inch, two inch strap, where the next step is we're gonna be cutting this strap where we're gonna need a, one piece for each of these shelves, as well as the small little pegs that are gonna be supporting the shelf. So let's get all this metal strap cut to length and then we'll start on welding it up. Okay, so we got all the pieces cut and we went ahead and pre-drilled the holes as well as did a countersink. That way the screws are gonna sit nice and flush on the edge whenever we put them all together. Now we just got three easy steps and we'll get these brackets all put together. First step, check to make sure there are no spiders in your welding jacket. Better double check that. Step number two, we're gonna spot weld both sides of this bracket to make sure it doesn't warp one way or the other when we do the full bead. Step number three, you guessed it, weld the full bead. So we did have to clean up a little on the inside and the outside, but brackets are ready. We're gonna put a clear coat on them since these are going in a bathroom, they're gonna get some humidity from the shower and stuff. We don't want this to keep rusting and like running down the wall. So a nice little clear coat, they're gonna be ready. And then for the actual wood shelves, since they've got that aged look from that 60 plus years in that barn, we don't wanna sand that down smooth. We wanna keep that old rugged look. So instead I just took a stiff bristle brush and I've scrubbed them real good to get the dirt off of them. And as you can see here, here's the little guy and it's revealed that nice pretty gray coloring to it that's just naturally weathered into the wood. So we've got our boards, we've got our brackets. Let's take it inside and I'll show you the finished product. Welcome inside. As you can see here behind me, we got the shelves put up and fully decorated. They turned out really nice where you can see just a bit of that metal bracket underneath them to give that sort of industrial look we was going for but otherwise it's just that old 60 plus year old barn wood just floating up there supporting all the decorations. Now there was a couple things we probably could have done a little differently on the next project. The main one being with this old wood having a slight warp to it, we should have tilted those brackets up a couple degrees just to make it a true flat shell. But otherwise, besides just the slight slope forward, the decorations are setting up there nice and securely. So I'm gonna say successful project. Now, if you want to see other projects like this one, be sure and hit the subscribe button down below. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next one.